Guys, welcome back to the Drone Camps channel. I'm Justin Davis, and we don't do just drones on this channel. I also do e-bike reviews. So today I'm excited because I got a new version, but I'm interested to see what Mac Fox has to offer this time with kind of an upgraded version of their previous frame. So let's go ahead and check out what they have to offer. Here we go. Okay, so I have pretty much everything tightened down. Last thing I need to do is just put the pedals on, charge up the battery, and we'll go for a ride. All right, guys, there it is, Mac Fox M20X. Let's go ahead and give it a ride. We've got three different camera views today. We've got one on the back. We're gonna record on that one and kind of give you a back review. Then we're gonna show you from the front with this 360 camera. So we got two 360 cameras and a GoPro today for this review. Let's go ahead and make sure we're recording on this camera. And now this camera, let's do some riding. So we're in Oregon and we have a lot of different types of terrain to ride. So we can test this out on the streets around the neighborhood and we can test it out down through the mountain bike trails. Um, I've ridden a very similar bike to this in the past. Um, the same style frame with a banana seat, it kind of feels like a, a mini motorcycle. The one I rode recently on my channel was the Ingwe. I believe it was the M20. It'll just give you a little run around on the bike itself. I don't have the fenders, but I believe you can get fenders on this bike. And right now, the bike goes for $1,000, which is pretty cool. And let's just, I don't even have any miles on this odometer yet. I have zero miles, we're doing about 12 miles per hour right now. It says we're in mode one and I've got an up arrow and a down arrow. That seems pretty easy. I've got the horn over here. It's kind of a passive aggressive horn. Or no, that's not the horn. That is the shifter. Okay, so we're gonna try out the shifter. Let's just take off. We're gonna take off all of the electric assist right now. And right now I'm pedaling in like six so gear six let's go all the way down to gear one push that front one then i can go down to gear one push this plus sign right there and that puts me up a gear so if you've ever tried to pedal 20 inch tires that are four inch fat tire tires that are a little harder to pedal than like standard bicycle so if you run out of battery you're gonna you know you're probably gonna not have the greatest bike ride with this but it will get you home Right now I'm in mode three. I'm at uh, 13 miles an hour, 14. Let's just go ahead and go right down the mountain bike trail real quick. It's a little bit wet down in here, but this bike should do fine with these tires. Just cannot hold on to this 360 cam and the handlebars at the same time with all the rocks. And there's only front suspension on here. We don't have any rear suspension on this. I believe they do make a dual suspension version, full suspension. And I had a bike a while back on the channel that was like triple suspension from Ingwe, so that's kind of crazy. Let's go ahead and see if we can get up this hill. I'm probably going to be covered in mud. And I'm in mode three right now. It's pretty good. Just went straight up that hill. It's supposed to be a 500 watt motor back here with 750 watt, like full max power. But it feels juicy. It feels good on this mode three here. I'm going to back down a little bit to mode two here. Just kind of cruise and it's kind of cool if you have like trails like this around your neighborhood this can be a lot of fun some mild mountain bike trails you know some places don't have this kind of trails but in oregon we have tons of them they're fun there's some good climbs some of my friends here ride regular mountain bikes and some ride like e-mountain bikes but it's not really classified as an e-mountain bike it's more of like a just a city cruiser, explorer, or a light trail bike. I feel like they work good on trails because they have such big tires. It kind of feels like a Honda 80 back in the day. Back in the 1980s, a lot of my friends had like little Honda 80 gas powered bikes, motorcycles, and I really wish I had one back then. But my parents would never let me have one. They were afraid I would crash. I crashed in everybody else's Hondas. I didn't have my own, but I had some crashes. But this kind of 
feels like that type of frame. It sits really similar to that type of bike. Just cruise up through here. Last time I got on this bridge, I spun off of it because I hit a little bit of throttle with uh, wet wood and it'll kind of throw you to the ground. Some good trail curves in here and they've kind of like put down some gravel through here, it looks like. Last time I came through here, this wasn't quite as well maintained. Now this is looking pretty good. Yeah, this is fun. I haven't seen any dogs yet today. It really wants to haul ass through here. And this is a cool place to ride. It's always fun to bring a friend along. We go on some rides together. So I have so many of these bikes now that we, we, we get a bunch of friends together and we usually go three or four people together. Just on a joy ride. Super fun. So if you had one of these and you're just trying to kind of like get outside, this is a great way to do that. Everybody's trying to get outside today, dude. It's like 55 degrees today. Yesterday was 63. It's been 14 degrees. Two weeks ago, it was 14 degrees. But it's a good day to go out and ride today. And uh, let's go ahead and get some speed up. I'm gonna take this uh, long stretch through here, but you know, it's just some off-road riding through here. We're up to 17, 18 miles an hour now. Oh yeah, it'll definitely do 20. It's, it says about a 20 mile per hour top speed. Yeah, it got up to 20. So over in Portland, there is like a, a speed limit handlebars just move and you have to have your e-bike e toned down but a lot of these bikes do like 35 30 and 35 miles an hour i don't think anybody really cares that much unless you're like complete being a jerk you know what i mean a little bit of mud and stuff through here it's not bad It's gonna come up to you guys is right. Pardon me. Wish I had fenders. There's a lot of water still on the ground. But we should try to climb the hill that's kind of notorious for these bikes, but it's kind of hard to hold on while I'm holding the Insta360. But we'll see if we can make it up that hill. I'll like gear down to like, or maybe I'll have to gear up, we'll see. just up here on the right man a lot of people out on the trails today you can see like all the debris on the ground we had a pretty good windstorm and ice so it feels good on the trails no problem all right so we're gonna go up this hill right here i'm gonna go ahead and go all the way up to uh top gear It looks like we have three gears total, so I might be on the top gear. Let's give it a try. Let's see if it'll go up this hill. I've been up this one on the mountain bike. No problem. Come on, baby. Yeah, it wants to climb. It's probably about 30 degrees on this hill. It's pretty good. I wouldn't say it screamed up the hill, but it got me up. Now, if you weigh like 250 pounds, it's probably not going to get you up the hill. That front tire is bouncing around a little bit through here. And there's a really steep drop coming up here with a little bit of technical uh, kind of rocks and stuff. So I'll see how that works out. Oh, look at the bike. It's covered in mud and water. So, yeah, we can definitely give that a spray off. But it's cool. It says assembled in the USA on this bike. Let's go ahead and like cruise down this hill. So this, this bike doesn't have the kind of range that we have had like on the other bikes. You know, in a, in a $1,500 to $2,000 range, you're probably gonna be able to get an e-bike that's got like say 80 to 90 miles range with like current batteries. This is kind of an older style battery now. The slide and clip on, it has a key lock on it, but these get you a little bit less range. They, they also make bikes similar to this that have dual 
batteries on there so you can double that range up to about 80 miles but you're not supposed to run these batteries down to like to zero so that was pretty cool that was fun it's a lot of fun just gonna skirt through here tons of people out today I can feel stuff hitting me in the back because there is no fender on this bike. Cute doggy. But yeah, if you've never ridden a fat tire bicycle before, um, they're they're a lot different with the feel. The steering the steering feels a little more kind of locked in. It doesn't it doesn't have such a squirrely front tire, but. When you do get going through the trails and stuff, that tire does bounce around a little bit if you have some some rocks and things like that. And I think that's because of the, you know, if you, if you pump this tire up a little more, maybe it will be a little less responsive, but you can let a little bit of the air out. Just, it'll flow a little bit better. And that's what I did today. I kind of let some of the air out. Now, one thing I got to say about like twist throttle versus like thumb throttle, if you guys don't know much about the difference, like if you never had an e-bike before, sometimes like when I'm sitting there, I accidentally engage the twist throttle, like motorcycle style throttle and accident and then, and the bike will kind of like take off on you. Like, let's just see if this one will kind of come up and do a wheelie. Oh yeah. Yeah, it'll get off the ground. So if you lean back, you can do some wheelies maybe. <laughs> I'll leave that up to you guys. But right, guys, make some comments in this video. Let me know what you think about this bike. All right, a little more downhill. If you appreciate these type of test rides. Oh, tons of mud right there. All right, here's a good uphill that some of the other e-bikes haven't really made. Okay, you can hear that motor winding down. I'm full throttle up right there, but got up to the top, no problem. That was pretty good. Got some technical stuff here. A little bit of bike balance through there. Nice. I like the, I feel like the holy grail of mountain bike riding is like bike balance. Once I learned a little bit of bike balance, I was much better off. All right, back on the throttle out here. Let's get it all the way up to 20. Make sure everything's still good on my rear cam view back there. 17, 18, 20. So I feel like I'm going a little faster than 20, but the, the speedometer stops at 20. And it is set to mile per hour, so that's pretty cool. And we can take one loop around this park down here. This is kind of a light like wood chip trail. We should ride over that, that mound of wood chips, see if we can make it over it. Should probably do that. I'm probably gonna wreck. Nope. Made it over. Not bad. Yeah, so uh, off-road, this thing feels fun. I think this is about the only place I'd want to take this. I mean, you could probably use this as like a city commuter bike, but I don't really feel like these types of bikes are good for a city bike. I'd want like more of like a, a standard size like bike tire for a commuter, or if you're going to use it for bike deliveries. I mean, I have seen people in New York City with these, like the style frame, doing bike deliveries. But this is where the fun is, out on the trails. Oh yeah, it's about to buck me off right through there. Oh man, my left hand is killing me holding on to that 360 tripod up there. It's an invisible tripod, so you shouldn't be able to see anything there. Looks like it's floating in front of the bike. It's pretty cool. All right, here we go, back on the street. And the tires have like pretty decent, like, Decent knobbies on them. 
I would say it's like motorbike knobbies or you know, electric e-bike, electric motorcycle tires. But it does have it does have a lot more grip on them than like some of the other bikes we have reviewed on the channel. That was pretty cool. This is the hum of those motors. Or that motor in the back. It's got some hum to it. So not bad, Macbox. This is the kind of upgraded version of this bike compared to like the M1. Uh, the M2 has, this year we have this bad boy. I'd like to see this one come out looking like super hip with uh, maybe dual suspension on this one. I think it would be a pretty cool option for people. But a ton of fun, you guys can check out the link down below. If you want to grab one of these from Mac Fox, please do. And if you like our reviews, please click the like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell for when the new videos come out, guys. I'm Justin Davis, another e-bike review, guys. Take care and I will see you on the next one.